sure if I was gonna do a grocery haul. I initially just went to Costco for a few snacks for the kids and then it turned into this and this because I went to like the cool Costco, not my usual Costco. Isn't it funny how your not unusual stores are like so much better in how, like when you go there, you're like, this is amazing. It's so much better than my Aveline and I went to Target the other day on our way home from visiting one of her friends. And I thought this, this Target is way cooler than our Target, right? So anyway, I went to a different Costco and I wanted to do a shop with me there, but I just, didn't today. Eventually I want to because they had so much stuff that I don't usually see. So I'm excited to share with you just the random stuff that I got and then maybe we'll prep some stuff together. Okay, so let me show you what I got. A time to unpack. Sometimes I forget what life is like not filming big grocery hauls. <laughs> like what, what is it like to just put food away like a normal human being? and not place it on your countertop as if you are about to film a video. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. That's just my life. Kind of weird, isn't it? It is kind of weird, but I'm glad that you're here for it. Hey, speaking of being here for it, I am here for reusable bags. Even though I've got some Publix bags back there that are not reusable, sometimes I forget to bring them in, but I have been noticing lately, maybe it's just the new Publix that I'm going to in my area, but I do see people using reusable bags more and more often, which makes me so happy, almost as happy as it makes my kids when I go to the grocery store and get them what they like. Don't worry, she's fine. <laughs> my back is turned, but my kids make it work. She is a climber and will always be probably her entire life. But anyway, speaking of the reusable bags, I know some states have banned them, which I think is awesome, awesome and amazing. Except for those days where you forget your bags in your trunk. Here is the haul as a whole. And I gotta tell you, I didn't even go that ham because I kept thinking, oh, I'm gonna come back in like a week. But and now after all of this, I'm like, oh, I probably won't come back. <laughs> but I do wanna go and film a shop with me. So I'm not sure, I'll see what I get done. Oh, by the way, Blue Land, they had toilet bowl cleaner tablets. Someone told me they had them. And I was like, um, I don't know where you shop, but not at my Costco, but this Costco had it. So I was very happy to see that. And I saw on Thrive Market that they had the um, dishwasher tablets. So I ordered some of those that should be in soon. So I was really excited about those two things. Those were new, a couple other new things too. We'll explore. I'll start over here. A um, couple things I wanted to say. Oh, it's a moving night. Oh, what a night. So I got some candy and I've never seen these mini M&M candies before in a big bag like that. So I am excited about that. Oh really? You're excited too? And I want to make, I think they're like protein ball bites things with the M&Ms. I need to put Wolfgang down, but before I do, I also grab these for popcorn seasoning for popcorn night. I also stopped by Hobby Lobby. It was next to floor more and decor or whatever it's called. They did not have the travertine that I was looking for. I carried it across the whole parking lot and it was heavy and anyway, they didn't have it. <laughs> but I tried. All right, let's start here with the broccolettes. Here are some broccolettes. What am I gonna do with these? Uh, your guess is as good as, we're gonna eat them is what we're gonna do with them. I also grabbed some lettuce. I have been craving salads, but have been out of lettuce for about a month. So I'm salivating. I am really hungry. It's about dinner time. I'm gonna chop one up for dinner tonight. Maybe throw some rotisserie chicken on top of it. If you see the rotisserie chicken back there to your left, maybe some Frank's. Are you ready to eat too? You say hi. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna throw some Frank's Red on top of it and it's gonna be so good. Uh, or maybe some Parmesan cheese, some like chicken, hold on. Oh yes, it's ladies night. Oh, what a night. You know what I saw on the floor over there? The receipt and that means, oh wait, that's not even the right one. Hopefully I'll be able to find the Costco receipt and I can finally put prices up here for you because I know the last haul, I didn't do that. <laughs> I do my best. Sometimes I lose it. I gotta find it. All right, little potato, the little duos over here. I love these, love cutting them in half, crisping them up in the oven, 425 degrees. Coat them in a little bit of oil, salt and pepper. And when you cut them, put them slice side down and they crisp up and they're perfect. Also do the same with the green beans. We're gonna have these tonight for dinner. I didn't go overboard on the stuff. 
I don't, there's really no reason. It's good enough, right? And then some mini originals. What are these? Beef sticks for the kids' lunch boxes. They really like those. I grabbed some pepperoni. We're out of this after our Easter event. Uh, we put these out on like charcuterie boards and stuff. So could you imagine we went through two packs? It's unbelievable, but also believable. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Over here, we have some raspberries. These were like $3, $2.99 for two cartons of raspberries. Kind of unbelievable. I was excited to see it. I love a good raspberry and I've been trying to like eat more fruits and vegetables and that kind of thing. So hopefully that will help actually having fruits and vegetables to eat. <laughs> And then blueberries, I really like them only when they're firm, but I'm gonna throw them in my yogurt and stuff and just uh, maybe a handful at a time, you know? But the most important thing is I have to prep them. I don't know what happened to my ring finger, but it is all kinds of cracked up. And for the first time, I saw plums at Costco. These are never at my store. I don't know how they decide like where to put what, but plums are never, watch next time I go to my Costco, there's gonna be a huge thing of plums. Anyway, these are nice and firm, exactly how I like them. The kids like plums, and I'm, it was a great price for as many that come in here, so. I'm pumped for that. Also pumped to cut up this pineapple because I'll tell you what, this other pineapple I have over here, trying to go slow, I think it's on its last leg. I'm gonna try to give it a cut, see if it's any good. Hopefully it's still got some life left in it, but it's not looking too promising. Cutting back to over here, I have kiwi fruit. You guys know I love kiwi. My kids love kiwi. Throw it in lunches, eat a snack, breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever. Actually, I should cut some for dinner. Mm. They're so good and they're nice and firm, which is how I like them. This is another new item. I saw on Instagram they had one of these. I'm not sure if it was maple and bourbon. Well, I bet it was. Now that I'm thinking, I try to take screenshots, but... How often do I actually look through the screenshots? Do you guys do that too, where you take a screenshot and you're like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna remember to look back on this, and then hardly ever <laughs> do I go back and look. Hopefully you do more than I, but this is these are the chicken meatballs. The, they, this is the same brand that sells the um, jalapeno cranberry ones, and they have other flavors too that I really like. During the summertime, they come out with different flavors, so, but this is one I haven't seen before, so maple and bourbon. I don't know, is it like real bourbon? I'm not about that life, but if it's cooked, I'm sure. It's, I don't know. I don't know what it tastes like is what I'm trying to get at, but I'm excited to try it. Avelina asked for these. Apparently she was at her grandmother's house a while ago and with some cousins and they had, not they had, she, grandmother made, I guess, toast with, I don't know what kind of jelly. I'm assuming she said red. So it's either strawberry or raspberry. So I have strawberry jelly. And then with this ham on top, and I was like, okay, sounds weird, but that's cool. So I told her next time I went to Costco, I would get the Canadian bacon for her because um, it's the best price. Like it's so crazy how the price changes from um, like a normal grocery store to Costco on something like this, you know? At a normal grocery store, you get this much for the amount of that you get this much at Costco. Okay, I also got this Harvardi, Harvardi cheese. This is delicious, have you ever had this before? They had it as a sample. And my goodness, they had about a million and five samples that I was really happy about. I didn't even eat all of them because you know it was just super crowded and busy. So, oh, you know what else they had? Liquid IV. And last time I went to Costco to get my glasses, I bought this strawberry liquid IV. I guess I'll just show it to you here. And that, I mean, look, I mean, it doesn't look like I've been through that much, but I feel like I've been drinking it a ton. It's only been a couple weeks. Makes sense that 30 come in a pack. But I will say, this is my favorite flavor of liquid IV, the strawberry, wow. if you haven't heard me rave about it enough. It is an electrolyte drink mix, so it's kind of like Gatorade. It does have sugar in it, so if you're being mindful of that, they have different flavors, and different flavors do different things. But anyway, this was going out, so it was $10 off. Now they've replaced the strawberry, which is the best flavor in my opinion. I haven't tried them all, but my favorite so far. Anyway, they replaced it with, you get 15 strawberry in a pack and 15, okay, uh, what was it? Golden cherry was the other 15 in there. So I don't know. I don't know. Golden, oh, they had the testers out, which, which is what I was getting at. So I tested the golden cherry flavor. It's okay. It kind of reminded me of some kind of medicine, but I can't put my finger on it. It wasn't Robitussin, but maybe similar to that. 
Okay, back over, where did we end up here? The Canadian, oh, Harvardi cheese, where was I? Oh, because the samples. Okay, well, that makes sense. It's a connection right there. Uh, tonight for dinner, we're also having mashed potatoes, and I knew I wasn't gonna have enough time to make mashed potatoes, so I just grabbed it. I made these for the Easter event, made these. I threw them into a casserole dish with extra half and half and butter, and people were like, oh my gosh, did you make these? I was like, uh, semi-homemade, I guess, if that counts. Okay, this I got mostly for Alex because I know he likes stuff like this. And you know, I haven't seen the brownie brittle at Costco these days either which probably for the best, right? Remember when they used to have the buy one, get one free brownie brittle? It's like $4 for two large and in charge bags is probably not the best way to uh, live your life. Well, mostly us because we just eat the whole bag in one sitting. So anyway, got these. Actually, I don't even eat them, but I will try a piece of these. Exceptional quality, love that. Handmade in small batches, real ingredients, milk chocolate, cookies, and cream bark. Alex loves cookies and cream. He loves milk chocolate. He loves to be indulgent. <laughs> So I grabbed these. I don't know. I don't know if they're any good, but I'll let you know what he thinks about them. Also grab some Nutella for the kiddos. They are also already trying to like grab into these. Best price at Costco for this. If you can tell, this is like the extra, extra jumbo size jar. It's incredible. And this price for two of them, I mean, somebody call whoever it is where you're trying to steal things. <laughs> what is it called? It's not HR. It's a uh, loss prevention or something. All right. Anyway, that's how I feel when I'm leaving the store with these two. I'm like, don't notify loss prevention about this. Okay. Red chili pepper. They had this as a sample too, but I wasn't able to get it, but it did spark the fact that I used to make this. You get a, well, they had brie in the store cause they were being fancy, but I used to get a block of cream cheese, throw this red pepper jelly on top with some crackers. And it is a crowd pleaser. It's a delicious little appetizer. And we have people over all the time and it's almost summertime. So I figured this would just be an, wait, is this supposed to be cold? Yes, it is. It's supposed, uh, should be a good thing to keep on hand. It expires, always refrigerate October 18th. So that'll last a while. Okay, that's nice. What else do we have here? I got some gyro slices. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I got these. And they also sell at the store, as you'll see in my shop with me if I go back and film it anytime. But at this store, they had the gyro kit. And it's, you know how they like to prepare dinners and stuff. Okay, the kit is like 24 bucks or 20 bucks, somewhere around there. And they have the gyro meat. Hero meat. Hero. I never can never say Euro. it. Euro. Euro? Euro. 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 Yeah. Novelina's a pro. Euro meat in the package. And then they also have it with some, I don't know if it's non bread or pita bread or whatever they serve it with. And then it also came with, when else did it have? A little container of like, oh, tzatziki sauce or tzatziki sauce. And the cucumber like cut up cucumber and tomatoes and stuff anyway it's a fantastic little dinner if you're looking for one but i like to throw it together myself in this bag there's two bags of them so two 12 ounce packs and so for our dinner i just cook up both of them our dinner our family side whatever moving on i'm so oh my kids are so distracting oh, man. okay quinoa and brown rice i've been meaning to get these pouches again these it's just good to have on hand they come in pouches you throw them in the microwave 60 seconds and you have rice ready to go this is delicious in my opinion but i also like to don't judge my pantry right now okay well that's not so bad okay anyway I like to serve it with these, which I haven't seen at Costco in a while. I got these from Costco and they're great. Mar oven roasted marinated tomatoes. I grab one pack of this, one pack of the rice, mix them together and it's lunch. It's so good. They had that one day as a sample too. And I'm, I mean, it's just like the easiest, quickest lunch. I also like to do the lentils and cauliflower rice, two packs. They come in packs like that. So in a matter of two minutes, you have lunch ready and it's fantastic. Okay. I also got the snack and cheese again. My kids realized uh, they really like this. So um, I also like to throw it in the keto in a bowl, the subway in a bowl kind of thing. And it is so good. The cheese is just so, mm, I don't know what it is. I'm into cheese right now. I'm not usually into cheese, but right now I am. So what's happening? I don't know. What is in cheese that I need? Like nutrient wise. Yogurt too. I've been craving it. I haven't eaten any yet. Okay. Anyway, Blue Land toilet bowl tab cleaner. Oh, lemon cedar scent. So 
But this is the thing, they're powerful and plastic free and they're more clean ingredients. I did a sponsorship, full disclosure, with Blue Land, but I mean, I bought these with my own dang money. I really love the products. I love what they're all about. Clean ingredients, plastic free, better for the environment, and you save money because how many come in here? 30 tablets for however many uh, thing, however much they were. So we'll see how long it takes me to go through that. I did buy the Clorox like wand a while ago from Costco. I want to say a month ago, but inconvenient. I never have them by the toilet when I need them. And I don't know. I feel like I'm wasting so much plastic when I clean with those things, but someone gave me, told me a hack for, you know, you clean more than one toilet with the reusable, not reusable, the thing. I'll just show you. They said, if you want to try to save it, just carry it around the house. Don't judge my closet back here, okay? I'm showing you all my skeletons today. Toilet wand refills. And it came with one wand, okay? A bonus handle inside, 36 refills. I think this, it was on sale for like 10 bucks, okay? And here's the thing with this is, I guess I could just leave one of these by the kids' toilets. But the thing that someone told me is that you just take one of them, that's actually two, but you get my gist. One of them, clean a toilet, put it in a plastic bag and then carry it around with you and clean all the toilets with just one. And I thought, why didn't I think of that? Isn't that genius, genius? All right, back over here. Where did we end? Oh, the toilet bowl cleaners. Okay, so I was really pumped to see this, really excited. And then I needed some extra virgin olive oil, so I grabbed that. I should have probably grabbed two, but I didn't want to like go ham on like, I just didn't want this to be a massive thing and all day extravaganza and I had the baby and I just was like, I gotta get out of here. I don't want this to be an all day thing, but it kind of turned into that. So I didn't get to even explore the whole store because you know, there were a ton of people and I was like, get me out of here. Okay, anyway, I bought this yogurt again, need to get it in the fridge. It is the triple zero, what's zero in here? Zero added sugar, which uh, I love, which is what gets me. 15 grams of protein, also love. Zero artificial sweeteners, zero fat. How do they do it? What chemicals are in here to make it taste good and delicious and have that much protein? So the kids love yogurt. Well, some of the kids love yogurt. I'd say half of them. And um, I'm making it my mission to eat more of it. Oh, babies needing me. I also grabbed some granola bars. These are just the kids' favorite. I bought the protein bars for them that they liked for a long time. They still ask for these like in their lunch boxes. So I aim to please. I grabbed some of these. And then they had the sea salt and vinegar Miss Vicky's. I'm waiting for summertime where they have the, who is it? What store is that? The garage store? Oh gosh, what is it? Jalapeno. It's like the jalapeno ones. Oh my heavens. Those are the best. Um, they're making my mouth drool just thinking about them. Miss Vicky, dill pickle chips? Is it the dill pickle? I don't think it is. I think it's jalapeno, they're spicy. I don't know what it is, but it's good, whatever it is. I'm sure they're all good. It's like a kettle chip. And then I grabbed some pirate booty for the kids too. They like that in their lunch boxes. I grabbed the massive container of eggs. I plan to, they didn't have the already cooked eggs, which was my plan, because will I actually, well, you're gonna hold me accountable because I'm gonna do it in this video. You're, I wanted the already boiled eggs, and I was willing to splurge and spend the extra money because if I buy them like this, I rarely actually boil them, so I just want some as meal prep to eat because I don't want some now, but I want some later. Do you know what I mean? Okay, and then I also got these bare naked, lightly breaded chicken breast chunks. You know, I love those. The kids love those. It's like, you know, last minute when, what's for dinner kind of thing. Um, I just throw these in the oven. I can throw them on a salad. 16 grams of protein, that's fab. And then, you know, Frank's Red Hot Sauce on top of it, and that is lunch, okay? It's sounding real good. I also grabbed some paper plates. We ran out of paper plates. I bought a whole thing of this, and then I had two of the spring plates, which came with 100 plates in each one, so I had 240 plus 200, 440 plates, went through all of them on the extravaganza. I feel like people would have eat, ate more if I had more plates, but I ran out. I felt like a horrible host. So anyway, I needed more plates. I found these, okay, hold on. Let me finish Costco and then I'll move on to that. Chicken melts, the kids ask for these. It's a great after school snack. They can throw it in the microwave. They can throw it in the air fryer. It's all, it's faster in the microwave and it tastes really good from the microwave. So I would... I would uh, respond. I don't know what word I'm trying to look for. I would require my, I would, it starts with an R. 
recommend. There it is, hey, we got there. And then ketchup. I don't know how it happens, but we always run out of ketchup. My Thrive Market order isn't in. I feel like I put it in my Thrive Market order. And then, of course, we got the rotisserie chicken from Costco. It is the best cost at Costco. They actually lose money on their rotisserie chickens. Do you know that? And I almost got two, you know, eat one now, shred one for later. But again, I didn't want this to be a massive day thing, so I didn't. Hold on. Okay, oh my heavens. I also ran to Hobby Lob. Okay, and I got, should I show you what I got from the lob? Uh, I, sh I should show you, okay? Uh, it was right next to floor more and decor, and I was like, well, how can I not go into the lob? So I went in, this was 40% off, and the paint, the uh, artwork that I got, the wall art, was also 40% off because it was spring-ish. Anyway, how could I not get this? They also had an apron, but I refrained. I was like, I have 700 aprons, never wear them. I, but looking back, I should have got it. Anyway, I could always use an oven mitt. Fan freaking tastic. It's Golden Girls. If you don't know, if you didn't realize, that was Dorothy. All right. Anyway, I also found these popcorn seasonings. Most excited about these. They cost an arm and a leg. I'm not even going to lie, but I thought, well, for movie night, we can splurge. Oh, the prices aren't even on here. Okay, that one is $7.99. My gosh. They also had a, a baby back rib one. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. So good, sounds good, but also it was in a container this big and I had to buy a whole multi-pack and I wasn't gonna do that. I was like 22 bucks and I said, <laughs> I have to draw the line somewhere, okay? I got the bacon seasoning and the lady at the checkout raved about it. She was like, it is so good, so worth the price, absolutely delicious, okay? And then I was like, well, have you tried the chocolate chip? And she said, no. So we're gonna have to try that out tonight too. I also grabbed some sour cream and onion, popcorn seasoning, and cinnamon toast. And you know what the seasonings that I normally get are, you know, like Mr. Popcorn, I don't even know what they're called, but it's the blue white cheddar, which is what my kids love. So we're gonna try those out for fun. And then over here from the pub, from Club Pub, um, I just have a few more things. I needed to go in for rice dream, rice milk for Alex. And I was trying to call to see. And then one of our nephews comes over once a week and he really likes salami. So I wanted to make sure I had salami for him. And anyway, so I needed two things, but the baby was getting fussy and I was like, I'm just gonna go home. And then I was like, oh man, I'll stop. So I ended up stopping into Club Pub. And no regrets, I because their bakery, delightful. And I ran into a friend. And I, you know, I feel like that Publix is becoming my Publix. You know what I mean? Since moving to this house, even though it's not that far from my old house, I'm, I go to a completely different Publix because it's like 10 minutes closer. It doesn't make any sense, but with stoplights and traffic and all that, it does. Anyway, I feel like it's turning into my Publix, which feels nice. Doesn't that feel nice when you like, you know? Anyway, um, I grabbed some bakery rolls for sandwiches. Those are Kaiser rolls. And then I grabbed some bananas that weren't looking so hot, but I wanna make banana bread again. I made it for, um, a family member, not a family member, a friend of ours. Uh, she, anyway, I made them dinner and I made banana bread for them because I figured that's also, that's like a dessert and a breakfast, you know? But then I made it and I was like, oh, I really want banana bread and my kids love it and all that good stuff. So hopefully those will be banana bread soon. I also, oh, these are from Costco, the Pantene Pro V. I got four conditioners and three shampoos because that's the ratio we use over here probably more like three to five, but um, these were on sale and I don't know about the smell. Oh, I didn't even smell them. Wait, the smell doesn't even match. Passion fruit and cocoa butter and then apricot and shea butter. That's whatever. They were on sale, good price, 10 bucks for this amount. And I thought, you know what, let me stock up because my stock is running low. I also from Publix didn't get to eat grapes on the way home. I grab green grapes, purple grapes. And I got about 17 packs of this brown gravy mix. It was on sale, two for a dollar, which is the best price that I have found around town. And Avelina, they, okay, so Avelina had an activity today and she was like, I wanna get uh, Chick-fil-A on the way home. And Alex picked, him up, picked her up and texted me and I said, oh, I'm going to Costco, I was gonna get chicken. And she said, okay, that's fine, but you have to make the gravy. And I aim to please. These were buy one, get one free. So I'm gonna try to prep some breakfasts. And um, these are maple, and then these are original. 
So anyway, and then uh, just for more snacks, I got the peanut butter pretzels. I figured that was good protein in the peanut butter, even though protein isn't that high, but it kind of is, I don't know, it's better than cake. And then <laughs> better than Doritos is my baseline of snacks. If it's better than Doritos or cake, it's better, it's healthy, right? And then I grabbed two red bell peppers. I just really like to snack on those. I grabbed ham and salami, a pound of each, Publix hard salami, and then Publix sweet ham. Those are my two go-tos, my two favorites. Grab some apples. Those are like what I like to call toddler apples because the size of them are as perfect. And then a Colby, even though Meredith, she'll eat two at a time. So I don't know. I guess it depends on how much your toddler eats. And then I grabbed some Colby Jack cheese. I'm gonna cube that up and prep it. And then uh, cucumber to prep. Reese's to put in some brownies for later tonight, because it's brownie night. Oh, what a night. Uh, and then the mini M&Ms. I told you I'm going to make some protein balls. Maybe I'll do that in this video. Who the heck knows what else is gonna happen. And then spaghetti squash. I like to have this whenever we have spaghetti, which is usually around once a week. All right, that is everything that I got time to make the dinners. Wait, is that my receipt? Just stepped on it? No, that is from the lob. Oh wait, do you wanna see my picture? Here's one. I'm thinking of putting it there. And here's the other. Oh my gosh, how much do you freaking love this? I'm in love. Uh, this is love. This is love. If you saw my dining room um, inspiration pictures, it's like three of these. So I don't think I'm gonna get them for the dining room because everyone's talking me out of it, but I really love this. I had lofty goals of cleaning out my fridge today. And I ended up doing it, but just not that day. Not even sure what I did that day, if anything at all, because this is the next day. <laughs> this is the following day. And, oh, I did get the groceries away. I guess I didn't film any of that. It's un unimportant, but this somehow is. I don't make it make sense, okay? I'm making sandwiches. <laughs> oh, gosh, hi. I'm making sandwiches. We're going to the zoo. So the whole fam, and can you even believe that I have to make this many Sammies? And it doesn't even equate to as many people who, that are in my family. You know what I mean? Like I, the baby doesn't eat, obviously. Just making this amount. And then I think of families that are larger than mine, like our tribe of many. You know what I mean? Like when they go out on a zoo day, are they making all their sandwiches at once like this in a row? It's just wild and crazy. And then I saw this one woman. Gosh, I don't even know her name enough to say it I don't it's something 12 12 dozen something do, I don't know man but she makes videos of like my morning routine and though this woman makes all the same like and just seeing it out on the countertop for 12 kids I don't know if there's 12 kids I mean Sarah has 12 maybe there's 24 of them I don't know <laughs> they just seem to multiply and there's so many but for me looking at um, six sandwiches. I'm like, dang, man, this is a lot. Cause I remember the days when it was just me and Avelina packing for a day at the zoo or a day at Bush Gardens, whatever. And with, you know, I would be packing snacks and they would fit in my teeny tiny little backpack cooler, <laughs> kept my back cool because it was on my back and it kept all the food cool. So that was cool. <laughs> anyway. Oh, how times have changed. Oh, how we grow and yada, yada. So that was pretty cool. And, you know, it's bringing me back to the days where I used to bring Avelina to Bush Gardens. I had a very good routine. We would do, like, library story time one day, park next day, Bush Gardens one, kids museum. Then, I mean, this girl, she had it all, right? She had all of me, all of my time, all of my attention, all of my care. And uh, I'm spread more thin these days. So I do what I can by, you know, we went to the zoo and that was that. <laughs> anyway, 12 years have come and gone. And wow, isn't it fast how time goes by? I'm throwing together this marinade tonight for dinner. It is one of my all-time favorite ones. I figured I'd share it with you again. It is chicken thighs. You can use any chicken you want. One, I don't know the measurements. I'm just going to guess. One cup of uh, Olive Garden Italian dressing. I did four limes. And, and the juice of four limes and then I threw the rinds in there just for fun and then half a cup of honey a third cup of honey I'll try to link the recipe below if you want to actually follow a recipe I just did whatever honey I had left <laughs> and then 
I just poured in the Italian dressing. I do Olive Garden. I feel like that's the best. And then the lime juice. And that trio, oh my gosh, throw that on the grill or the George Foreman or probably even in your oven. And it is absolutely chef's kiss. It's so good. It's one of my go-tos. We were having guests over, last minute guests, so I deviated from the meal plan. But tonight I'm getting back on track. I'm going to try to film another what's for dinner video because, you know, my last one, I deleted it. So, oh, it hurts my heart. A lot of time and effort goes into those. All right. Anyway, um, I speaking of deviating, I am deviating from my actual planned what I told you at the beginning of this video where I said, oh, yeah, I'm going to put together some <laughs> whatever I said. It's not happening as much as I wanted it to because I realized, oh, I don't really have the good like perfect containers for that. I'm not buying containers just to prep some food that who the heck knows if it's actually going to work for me next week. You know, you know what I mean? So I'm just prepping the ingredients like the like produce, the vegetables. I cut up some, I cut up some cheese, I cut up some stuff and uh, putting them in containers so they're ready to eat. And that's really the most important part, right? For me, I like eating a smorgasbord. Every time I eat, I like having options. So in my mind, I saw on Pinterest these like fruit, um, what are they called? Fruit containers, if you will. They had, they called them something else. I don't really remember. On the go boxes or something. And so you could just grab it and go kind of thing. But I'm not going anywhere, you know what I mean? So I figured I'll just ingredient prep and grab as I please. But for me, I like a little bit of grapes, a little bit of kiwi, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, bada boom, bada bang. And uh, so I wanted to initially kind of mix them all together and put them together. But then I also feel like, oh, sometimes it's just goes bad like fruit goes bad when it's next to a different fruit so anyway I figured this was the best option we actually had brownie Friday the night before so the strawberries were looking kind of slim over here and you guys know I obviously you know I went to Costco and just today I'm like oh I need also need xyz bottles of water from Costco uh, we like to keep a supply just for, you know, just to have on hand hurricane season and all of that good stuff just to have on backstock. If our power goes out, our water also goes out because we are on a a well. And so anyway, we like to have stuff like that on hand. But when we have big parties, we supply bottled water, obviously. So our supply is dwindling fast. So I need to just make a Costco run just for waters, which seems silly. But, you know, the trunk fills up with those heavy waters. It's like the least amount of money I spend at Costco, but it fills up my trunk more than anything else. So anyway, I need to go back there, which will be a perfect opportunity for me to film a shop with me. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Who the heck knows? We'll see where the day takes us. Honestly, I want to go thrift store shopping. So we'll see if I keep driving past Costco to the goodwill or if I make a pit stop uh, I don't know it'll be interesting to find out all right so I'm also cutting some zucchini this night you didn't see it in my grocery haul because I ended up getting it on the way home from the zoo which was a grand old time by the way I stopped at a farmer's market and just grabbed some zucchinis and mushrooms and they had uh what did they have bananas half off and they were super brown way more brown than the ones that I got and they were ready for banana bread and they were half off which I was like uh yes please so the mushrooms needed to be washed really well and I'm just I was over it so I just threw them in here and I already had the sink filled up and I said good to go look how cute that one is can't find mushrooms like that at Publix I'll tell you what so anyway the banana bread at the little market the farmer's stand well, I don't know. Gosh, it was like $5 for the, sm the loaf the size of my hand. And I just thought, let's make some when we get home. <laughs> that loaf is a single size serving, okay? But they also had so many other cool things. Elderberry syrup. And they had uh, fr dried fruit, which I almost got some. They had some homemade salsas and stuff, but they were out of the one that I would have bought. Um, anyway, so it just reminded me. I used to go to that farmer's stand all the time you know, back when you have time to like do stuff, like make different pit stops and drive all over Tarnation for that. Anyway, I found this massive zucchini homegrown. It was at the stand and I said, heck yes, I'm bringing that thing home. And I cut up the zucchini and mushroom for that night for dinner. We grilled it up along with the chicken. But then the zucchini, I figured, oh, we'll make zucchini bread. So maybe next time I hang out with you, I'll make zucchini bread 
Is that what it's called? Zucchini? Yeah, it's not cake, is it? It honestly, the banana bread should be called banana cake, because <laughs> that's uh, that's how much. Well, is there sugar in it? Yeah, there is. There is sugar in it. There's. I doubled the batch this time. All the girls are helping me in the kitchen and Wolfgang, of course, and. I doubled the batch, so I needed eight bananas because I thought they're half off. This is amazing. And whenever I make one batch of banana bread, it's gone within seconds. And we were having people over that night, along with every other night of my life. And I figured I want some in the morning. <laughs> so I doubled the batch. And lo and behold, we did have some left over. Hallelujah. So anyway, what was I getting at? Oh, the sugar was a cup and a half of sugar. <laughs> That's what I was, I was going to just tell you, oh, it's a cup and a half of sugar. But then I had felt like I needed to explain just why it's not three quarters cup like it normally is and would you have even known that probably not but maybe if you have tried my famous banana bread you guys I am starting to make a list in my phone of like my go-to recipes one day I'll have a cookbook that day is not today but one day I will oh sweet if not if for nothing else just for my kids you know what I mean so my sister-in-law did that for her kids and she's like, it's just great for them to have when they go off to college. They have familiar recipes and they know how to cook them and all that good stuff. So if nothing else, then I'll just make the recipe book for my children. And for me, too, because there are some recipes that I, you know, often go to. And I'm like, wait, which ingredient am I missing or how much? of You know what I mean? So anyway, I just feel like it'll be good to have. And I encourage you to do the same. If you have some go to recipes, just make a cookbook. Even on Shutterfly, you can make a cookbook off of their photo books. Oop, getting a phone call, hold up. Speaking of Shutterfly, I really need to s get on top of my scrapbooking. That is a goal of mine this year. Can you believe we're already like a quarter through the year? It is April. Oh, I haven't done any scrapbooking in two years and it hurts my heart really, but one day I'll get back into it. I can't say one day, today, tomorrow, maybe the next day. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'm, I'm I'm taking out my Instant Pot to make some boiled eggs. Uh, and, you know, everyone's like, oh, the Instant Pot's so much better than the Dash. And everyone has their own opinion, which is cool, which is fine. That's good. But, man, I just opened a pen and I'm pretty sure it's broken straight from the get-go. Plus, I just got ink all over my desk. All right, anyway, everyone's telling me the Instant Pot eggs. Oh, you're going to be amazed. Listen, I made them before, but I figured, uh, fine, I'll try them again. Because when I used to make them in my old house, I didn't have an ice machine. So I didn't have ice. Actually, the ice machine was broken. Oh, that's a whole story, too. We ordered this one fridge just because it had, you know, water and ice on the door. And it months and months went by. We went without a fridge in our kitchen. If, oh my gosh, I just hit the mic. But if you have been here through all of that, through the, what did we call it? I don't really remember. But if you've been here through all of that, you are a friend. Okay? Thank you so much for hanging out with me for so long. But anyway, in the last house, I always made eggs in the instant pot because I didn't have a dash egg cooker. And the egg, the eggs never really peeled perfectly because... Obviously, it didn't have ice, so I just blamed it on that. So I'm giving it another go, and you'll see in a second. And I cut up this cheese because just because I wanted some cubed cheese. I was almost going to buy the cheese that comes in the packaging, you know? And then I thought, oh, extra plastic. I'm just doing my best to not, you know, even though I'm not perfect, not even close. But the cheese like this was so much more affordable, and I feel like I got more for my money. You know, and the Colby Jack, oh my gosh, that's delicious. I'm not a big cheese person, but that's good stuff right there. And plus, I had it cut out and on the counter while I was chopping up the other stuff, and the kids started picking. I'm telling you, if you have stuff ready to eat, the kids will do it. <laughs> the kids will eat it. Not only the kids, but me too. I told you, I'm trying to eat a little, little more fruits and vegetables here. So that's the goal. If I cut up, oh, this is my inspiration, okay? Those are the little pods that I was talking about but then like putting cheese with egg I don't know it didn't seem right for me so I just kept them separately right eggs are kind of stinky I mean cheese is kind of stinky too but I just thought I, I don't know I don't know and then I was like well if I put hummus in here it's just not gonna be a great thing and then gosh that's so much cheese I eat two little cubes of cheese and I'm done <laughs> with my cheese portion of the evening do you feel me? Like, 
I can't eat that much cheese. There's a lot of cheese in that little container. Oh, if you're wondering what it looks like when you cook eggs in the Instant Pot and don't wait for them to sit in the cold water, that's what they look like. Okay, there is a perfect non-example for you. So the trick with the Instant Pot eggs is the 555 method is what people talk about. You cook it on high pressure for five minutes. You let it sit natural release for five minutes. Then you release it and then you throw it in cold water for five minutes. And that's what I did. And did the eggs peel? Yeah, whatever. (laughs) But also just as well as they peel from the dash. And I just like the dash maker more because I have it. And why not use it? And I don't know. My Instant Pot's always just so large and in charge to get out. And it's on the bottom, really, I think is the problem. It's on the bottom. (laughs) It's just hard to grab. Even though I grab it almost every other night to cook rice in for dinner anyway. But alas, I made the eggs, made the boiled eggs. I did not mix them with any other thing like cheese. But I figure, oh, you know, and my breakfast boxes, I felt a little guilty. Oh, my gosh. Speaking of feeling things, I felt my lettuce and it was frozen. I was like, what the heck is happening, man? My lettuce was frozen and I wondered why. So I checked the temperature in the fridge. Oh, 35 degrees. That'll do it. What the heck is my fridge doing at 35 degrees? So I Googled. I knew it was too way too cold. And my peppers had been like freezing. I'm like, what is happening? And I thought, oh, maybe it's just because there's so much crap in here. No, it's because my fridge was sent to 35 and I Googled it. The fridge is supposed to be set at 40. Little did I know. So I went ahead and changed that on the thing. Oh my gosh, you guys. How does that stuff even happen? And how long has it been at 35? And am I paying extra every month? I knew my energy bill was getting was rising. <laughs> it's because my fridge is at 35. Should be at 40. Five degree difference is a big difference. I'll tell you what. Things were freezing up. Not only that, what else froze? Oh my gosh, the pickles. The pickles froze over the jar of pickles we had. Because I went to shake it to see how many pickles were left. Because like if it's only one pickle, I'll eat it and get rid of the jar. But if there's multiple. Anyway, it was frozen. Freaking pickles, man freezing it up in my fridge and then my fruit drawer I cleaned that out and thought I filmed it but apparently I didn't and then I added the apples the plums kiwi in there I had some oranges but those got eaten up I have oranges in the outside fridge which I need to tidy up as well and you know I used to go to Costco once a month but I'm feeling like I might just do a bi-monthly trip because I like how my fridge is like not packed to the max you know what I mean because if I do a monthly trip my fridge is stinking packed and then I can't find anything scrounging around in there anyway (laughs) that's just how I feel about it those pouches by the way I feel like I got them from Costco but Meredith doesn't like them I feel like I've talked about that before I'm trying to pawn them off on kids that come over it's not working and I might um, I'm gonna look at the ingredients but I might just start feeding them to Wolfgang If they're simple ingredients, you know, it says no sugar added, but I don't know if I believe any of that. And someone told me that brand is from Jennifer Gardner. I really like Jennifer Gardner for multiple reasons, mostly because she has her imaginary cook show. And I feel like I really relate to her on that level. (laughs) Her imaginary cooking show. I'm like, me too, girl. Me too, but you are a million times better than I am. And she probably actually knows Ina Garden in real life. And I... Not even close. Wish I had Rachel Ray on speed dial up in here. I don't know what I just ate. Oh, the cheese. It's just so good. Colby Jack and my little cling wrap broke. So now I have to use it. Scissors to get it out. It's the minor inconveniences in life that really annoy me the most. (laughs) Anyone else? Anyway, so I ended up putting the pouches in just a container like that. So they weren't flopping all around my fridge. And we'll see. Maybe... Um, I'll check the food label because I didn't this day. Anyway, I'm packing my fridge back up and it's looking mighty fine. Cheers to you. Hydrate. Don't forget. Purifies the soul. Let me give you a little app before clip. Hold up. Just gave it to you. Hope that was satisfying enough. I sure liked it. Those hot dogs. How long do hot dogs stay good? Also, is it kind of scary that hot dogs are good for so long? I don't know. What's in a hot dog? Don't answer that. I don't want to know. (laughs) Uh, Mechanically separated beef, probably, or chicken. 
Anyway, that is the first ingredient in a Slim Jim. If you're wondering, if you wanted a, a fun fact that is not really fun. Anyway, I've moved on to the pantry. And I'm just needing to tidy up a little bit in here. Uh, looking at it now, I see that I am running low on my salsa. I need some more salsa. You know what else I need more of? Beans, black beans, because I recently made a ton of black beans and I ruined a pot because I burned a bunch of black beans. I don't want to talk about it. I also ruined another pot because the other day I was making something and I left it in my oven. I was making two and then I one dish needed to stay in my oven just a little bit longer. So I turned my oven off and I thought, oh, the residual heat will, you know, so many mistakes I made. I didn't set a timer. I didn't remind myself it was almost bedtime, you know, the rig and roll of that. And then I forgot about it in my oven. So it went bad, but not only did the food go bad, which is fine because it was really only one small little piece, but the pan got ruined because it had just been in my oven for so long. And then I feel like because I had tinfoil down, I didn't see it the next time I cooked something in the oven. <laughs> Oh, I'm just a mess in the half over here. Anyway, I needed to tidy up my pantry. Everything was on the floor. Those, um, this is my overstock of like Ikea Ziploc bags. And I just needed to get them up off the floor. And that's exactly what I did. And it's feeling mighty fine in here. A lot better than it was. And it feels good. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I hope you enjoyed your time. If you did, subscribe, put a little happy in your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.